What's up guys, David here and welcome to the FitPro Daily. This week is all about automations and systems and yesterday we started off with Joe Mackney coming on to share his experience and how to set up an onboarding process for a new prospect. Now some of the stuff Joe talked about yesterday is what we're going to cover today but before I do dive into today's five top tips, if you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel just yet, press pause, press subscribe and then let's dive into the five automation tips, ideas, softwares that you could use for your fitness business. Okay, let's get started. So one of the tools that Joe was talking about yesterday was Zapier. And that's going to be the first thing I want you to really look at and dive into when it comes to automations and software within your fitness business. Now, Zapier is basically the thing or the tool, the software that pulls information from one place and distributes it to wherever it needs to go. So, for example, if you're running Facebook lead ads where Facebook collects the data from you, Zapier connects into Facebook. Zapier then sends these details to wherever you need it to go. If a new lead comes in here, Zapier will grab their details and maybe you're going to tell Zapier, now I want you to send this text message. So Zapier, the first thing I want you to look at is Zapier. It's what connects everything together. It's like that bridge. It sends people from one side to the other side by pulling them across and sending them where you want to go. So number one, Zapier. Now, number two, the second thing I want you to consider is Google Drive. If you haven't used Google Drive before, then you are massively missing out. Yes, there's loads of other ones. Microsoft have their own version. Apple have their own version. But Google Drive is 100% based in the cloud. It's all done online. And it also connects into Zapier. So if a lead comes in on Facebook, Zapier grabs those details and sticks them into your Google Sheet. You might have a Zap that comes up that says when a new person signs up or a new person signs up, Zapier grabs their details and it says send them this starting doc, which is your Google Docs. Or you might create your slideshow on there. So Google Google Drive is kind of like the main thing, but you've got Google Sheets, Google Docs, and Google Slides. It's basically the same as a spreadsheet, a Microsoft Word, and Keynotes, or Slides, or PowerPoint, whatever you want to call it. It's all done in the cloud. A great software, a great piece of uh, software, a system that you can use to make your life easier, and it all connects to Zapier to make the automation side of things much easier. The third thing I want to talk about then is ClickSend. Now, ClickSend is great for sending text messages out, or the one we're starting to look at now is something called Text Magic. Because on Text Magic, you actually get an app on your phone and you can do all the communications through the app. And it, to them, it looks like a text message, but to you, it comes directly onto your phone. Now, what we do is a new lead comes in, Zapier grabs their details, said tells ClickSend, send them this text message. You write the text message in just once. You obviously put a little, little, um, little caption that says name so when it pulls their details through it might it will just say their first name so software or tool number three is click send or text magic that is just for the first text though now the fourth one i want you to consider is something like an active campaign mailchimp or aweber so we use active campaign predominantly to send out emails so again a new lead comes in zapier grabs their details and adds them into active campaign they then get a number of automated emails one a day for the first five days then we send a weekly newsletter to that person we haven't had to add them in we don't need to manually add their data or anything like that zapier literally grabs their data and puts them in and you can send automatic emails one a day one every other day over the course of a six week whatever works for you or like we do we have one a day for the first five days and then we have one every single week like a newsletter getting prospects excited about what they have coming up for us so those are the four things so far now the fifth one is one that I really need you to consider when you're looking at software and automations is you only want to set things up which is going to be a time saver almost not a replacer because if you're reliant on software to do your job 
for you. It takes out the personal touch to it. So if you've got a software that's firing out these text messages and it moves into text three and text four and text five and all this type of stuff, and you've not had a chance to answer the questions properly or communicate with the prospect correctly, then you're probably going to use them. So what we do with the first four bits of software is yeah, their details get added to the Google Sheets. Yeah, a one text message gets sent automatically. Yeah, a couple of emails get sent automatically, but then we reply to them or one of the team replies to them. So it's all done manually from that stage because you need to have your personal side of things. So consider those first four to be the very first steps. And when people reply or communicate with those four things after they've sent automatically, you then, as the fifth step, you reply to them with your own personal approach, own personal messages that match their wants and needs. So those are the five top tips uh, or top top software ideas that you can use right now. Like I said, if you want to check out Joe's interview for Monday, go back and check yesterday's video out. Or if you haven't already joined us inside our free group on Facebook, head over to Facebook, search for FitPro, lead gem with Dave, request to join, and I'll see you on the inside. I'm going to leave it there for today. I'll speak to you all tomorrow.